Hello and welcome to the Friday, April 19th, 2024 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. And we now have a public proof of concept and more details for the Delinea Secret Server vulnerability or Tychotic as it uh, used to be known as. This particular vulnerability allows an unauthenticated user to gain access to the API on these devices. Interesting vulnerability and sort of one of those tricky authentication bypass vulnerabilities that you often run into when developers try to do something fancy different and don't quite understand all the percussions of the authentication schemes they come up with. The problem here is that first of all, there's a user ID that's just encrypted with a static key. So pretty easy to find a static key in the code and then create your own encrypted user ID. Just simply impersonating the user with this encrypted user ID was not possible initially because there was also a timestamp that was linked to a random UUID that uh, was not predictable. But turns out if this UUID is just removed and the expiration date of the session, then well, that check is skipped and an attacker is able to log in as any user. Exploitation of this is pretty straightforward based on these this blog post. The blog post was published by Johnny Wee, who did initially also find and report the vulnerability to Delinea. And thanks to Tenable, we also now have uh, additional details and a proof of concept exploit for the Ivanti Avalanche heat buffer overflow, something I mentioned earlier this week. So both Delania and Ivanti, you should patch these products uh, before you leave for the weekend. Typically, phishing campaigns don't really get me that excited, but Lookout has a nice write-up about a bit a more sophisticated phishing campaign in terms on how they are impersonating their targets. First of all, these phishing emails, or actually SMS messages as they show up as are targeting specific individuals, then they, the link the particular SMS message then connects to is customized to the individual to display them a very convincing phishing page, in particular when you're dealing with mobile devices. This, for example, involves registering specific domains that are really good in impersonating the specific target, also including things like phone numbers and such in the domain in order to make the particular phishing attack more convincible. Pretty good thing to maybe include in an awareness presentation to show that it's not always sort of these very obvious and simple phishing attacks that your users should be ready for. And HashiCorp released an update for GoGetter. This particular library allows downloading files from URLs, including Git URLs. And if a Git URL was downloaded, which means that the URL is being passed to Git, command line arguments weren't escaped properly and that could have then led to code execution. And Cisco published a blog post about what they're calling the awful router virus. This particular virus is interesting because it very specifically targets Ukraine, even though some of the code in the virus is somewhat broken, which reduces the effectiveness of this vi virus somewhat. But still, even with not being 100% effective, this virus has been hanging around for several years now and appears not to be going away. Maybe in some ways by not being sort of overly effective, it turns out to be a little bit quieter and with that is less likely going to be found in networks. This virus includes itself as a macro in Word documents. Of course, one problem here is that macros are typically no longer executed by default. Once it infects a particular system, it may then attach itself to additional Word documents and upload other Word documents to public file repositories where an attacker could then download them from. More details about the virus can be found in Cisco's blog. It's believed that this particular virus focuses on Ukraine because the only documents being found infected were written in Ukrainian. Not all the details are yet quite known about this sample. 
Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.